Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we continue our Zalanka start from scratch, feed my kids run, long title, uh, here. And uh, we're just finishing up potatoes on this field. We got one more field to proceed with potatoes. We'll be moving over to that here momentarily. And then we also got to seed some oats because we're going to do one more round of straw. Figured why not? Just to make sure we have plenty of straw for our cows. We can see an argument both ways, but we'll do one more and then we'll be done with all of that. Three fields of potatoes. Should be quite a few potatoes. Probably put canola on that other field once it's done with its oats. Get rolling, and then let's grab you. Did have to put lime down on the grass field, but as you can see on the other fields, all the other fields look good on lime at the moment, so just the grass field. So I was looking at this... Um, weeder here which can plant canola because all we got to do right now is plant canola right problem with this is that it does not do the uh cultivating along with it uh, or the fertilizing so with, the, with that in mind i guess we'll keep this for a little bit longer but it would have been a nice way to get a little bit of extra money coming back to us that thing's obviously very cheap and uh can move along quite nicely i mean i think it's nine miles in, uh nine meters wide seven miles an hour not too bad I think the one we got now, though, is eight meters or something like that. Eight meters, 11 miles an hour. So it's a little bit faster. Plus, it does the fertilizing we talked about. We're going to be doing oats with this. A little bit of seed left over here. So might as well fill you up with solid fertilizer. We don't need it for anything else, I don't think. Might need a few more seeds for the uh, potatoes, but I think we'll be all right. Oh, he's backing up the whole way, isn't he? What a dummy dumb. Let me go rescue you, my friend. Ideally, he'll have enough potatoes for this field by himself, but hof hopefully he does at least, because we just don't have much left. Alright, first time having something besides, uh, what? The very, very first phase when we had, um, I think, parsnips or something like that on here, and we've had grass on this thing forever, it feels like. All right, that is cruising along. Um, that should be a good number of potato fields. Good stuff there. the cows are good to go. I think I already checked them this month. Now they got enough food, got enough straw. 
not overloaded on milk or slurry. We're good on both of the, all that. So yeah, we're ready to just get these things seeded and then move over to May and sell our chocolates. Hopefully pay off a little bit of loan. Let's see, let's see the loan would be... I mean, we'll definitely pay off the 6.2 interest and we might pay as much of the 6 interest as we can. So the loan we just took out, we're probably just going to ignore for the most part. Pay off as much of those other loans as we can. It's usually the smart way to do it. Pay off. I mean, there's two ways to pay off debt. You know, there is the... Uh, Snowball method, which I believe I might have them backwards, but I think snowball is when you pay off the highest interest rate first, and then you whatever payment you had snowballs into the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So you're keeping your monthly payments the same, but you're slowly increasing how much you pay on you know the lower interest rate loans as you progress, you know, paying off the higher ones. Uh, the other one I think is called avalanche, and again I might have these two terms backwards. So I think the avalanche one is where you pay off your lowest balance first and then roll the payment into the next lowest balance next lowest balance things like that so a little bit less useful on the interest side of things but it does allow you to have uh more um available money on a given month if say an emergency came up right let's say you're you're doing the avalanche method and you're paying off the, the low you know lowest balance first let's say you paid off something that was going to give you back 100 bucks a month of payments well then if if, if down the road you had some emergency and you needed that extra hundred bucks for something, you don't have to put it back on a credit card. You you have that money for whatever. So different ways to pay off debts. They can all be successful. Debt is bad. I should know. I've been in debt many times in my life. This is not fun. Most usually my most of my debt has come from uh necessity. But can't say it's all necessity. Occasionally I go into debt because I'm stupid and I like nice flashy fancy things so look it goes both ways if i teach my kids anything it's going to be about doing their best to stay out of debt completely something my parents were not able to teach me because they just didn't understand that i just i never really understood credit interest rates all that kind of stuff they just they weren't taught that growing up they didn't really understand it and uh I wasn't taught it growing up either, to be fair. I wasn't taught it in school. That's something that they teach you a lot of things in school that are completely worthless. Managing debt and understanding loans and interest rates and stuff like that, that is one thing they absolutely should teach in high school just to keep you, you know, in a good place when you come out the other side, right? I mean, I would not be in as much student loan debt as I am right now if I had known what it all actually meant. I didn't understand it. All I was ever told when I got my student loan debt was... Oh, just as long as you don't take out as much more debt than you can make in your first year salary, you should be fine. So that's the thing that they drilled into my head every single semester at college. Yeah, just don't make sure your total loan is not more than you can make in your first year of college. You'll be fine. Okay, fine. And my my total student loan was just a, um, just a little bit above my first you know year salary, and it still kind of blew up in my face because, you know, life happens and it's just, I don't know. Student loan is bad. If you don't have to go to college for your degree, don't go to college. Like, if you don't have to go to college for your job, that's what I meant to say. Don't go to college. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. Unless you live in one of those countries that actually gives you free college, which then if you do, you're very lucky because America is all about keeping us uh, in debt as much as possible. That's kind of the American philosophy, it feels like. It's very sad. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not my responsibility to pay my debt. You know, I know a lot of people are talking about debt, you know, student loan cancellation, stuff like that. It is my responsibility. I'm the one that did it. I just didn't have the education to understand what I was doing, though. It was my problem. And the interest rates are way too high. If the interest rates were, you know, much lower, where I could actually make progress, then awesome. But it's just so hard to make progress. That's my rant while we're sitting here waiting for this. <laughs> I 
I didn't put uh, digest it down in this field, but that's all right. gonna have enough potatoes maybe barely yeah I think we'll be fine I mean, the oats aren't going to be worth much, so it's kind of almost a wasted field, but it's going to give us a little bit of straw. We'll be fine. It'll, uh, I think we'll be happy to have it. It's not going to be much straw, to be fair, but a little bit to make sure we have as much as we need for our cows. Even if we run out a little bit of straw towards the end, it shouldn't be that bad. Two more passes with you. Oh, we can sell our windrower and our tether. Just a little tiny bit more money. Actually, uh, let's grab you. Oh, you can't hook to that? Uh, I think you can hook to the other one, though. Not a lot of money, but some. Oh, it's going to be so close to the potatoes.
We did it. Anything releasing that we can get rid of soon? Not really. Alright, that's that. That is that on this one too. Nice. If you back to uh, Canola, so don't forget. Alright, we're good to fast forward and be ready to sell some chocolate I might have should have paid off some debt with a little bit of money we had but it's all right I'll work out <laughs> so technically I have a positive balance a bit surprising uh, let me get you, one of you guys, you started on, I guess, some fertilizing or herbiciding, whichever we have over here. I think it's herbicide first. We should make sure the chocolate is at a good price. Oh, you got to be kidding me. January now? That is not good. All right, we're going to sell it to sell everything. It's just going to have to be good enough. we got to get it sold here. So it's worth a little bit more than it was last month. So still, still something. Is that really all we load? Oh, wow.
Where do you think you're going? You didn't even try to finish. Like, what are you doing, dude? I think you finished the row you were on, and then you were... Okay, you were going down this direction, and then you decided to just turn around randomly. Like you like to do, for no reason. You completed your task, huh? Alright, what... Who broke you? <laughs> who hurt you, my friend? Why is my semi truck? Target is unreached. What? <laughs> okay. How is it unreachable? Okay. All right, dude. Seriously. Neither one of my workers wants to do anything right now. Now, can you get there? Seems like you're okay now. You gonna be able to make your way back home this time?
Right, get the last little bit of chocolate. Get that sold off. Pay off some loan, I guess. Hopefully. Any more in there? No and no. All right. Make sure I'm not missing any anywhere. Nope, looks like we're good. Can you make your way over here this time? Alrighty, well, we're almost done with this. I just wanted to sell this last little bit, get that part done, and then we can call the episode there. Still need to do some fertilizing, but it should be just about it. And obviously, take care of the cows. No, they definitely need some stuff. TLC. Just make sure this guy got past the beehives, alright? We seem to be scared of the bees. thousand bucks not terrible I mean, we do seem to be going backwards on our money but it's just gonna have to be one of those things that we uh we deal with so you don't run into any trees or anything weird. All right, let's see what kind of loans we can pay off. At least pay off the higher interest ones. We can definitely pay off this one. That'll save us 3,000 bucks a month for the next 36, for the next 12 months. That's good. 
Oh, so I almost hit the wrong button. Uh, I want to hit special redemption. There we go. 35070. Oh, we're not unlocked. We are 35070. Come on. That one's down to basically less than a dollar. And then do we pay off as much of this as we can? A hundred thousand bucks still. I don't think it reduces the the monthly payment, does it? What happens if we do like eighty thousand bucks here? Does it just lower the number of notes we have left to pay? Yeah, I think it does. All right. We might try that for now, see if that gets us anywhere. Should be all of our weeds. Then we just gotta get the fertilizer done. We will do that next time. All right, we're gonna put a cut in there. Looks like the semi truck's back. Good stuff there. So we did make, you know, we're making slow money. It's not amazing money. And again, it's just, it's just because of how much we had to lease to get things rolling. That that sugar beet and potato harvester that we got over there is so expensive. But we'll be happy to have it in the long run, so it is all going to be okay. Uh, but we'll go put it in there. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.